another episode of Is Feminism Trash? We hope you watched our last video where we debunked some myths about feminism. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Okay, so today we are going to the streets of Lagos to ask people's opinion about feminism and how they feel about it in general. So let's get right into it. Um, feminism, well, if I would put it in my own words, feminism is more of a movement that supports ladies and guys being equal in the society. I really don't have much to say. Well, I'm actually a very conversant user of Twitter. And I would say in a, in, in a way, some ladies have actually made feminism look like more like a witchcraft or something. But feminism isn't actually a bad idea. It's, it's actually a good stuff that should um, other ladies too should try and uphold, really. Okay, first of all, I would like to say that stuff. See, feminism is not a stuff. It's a whole movement. Exactly. Yeah. See, it is our reality. Mm -hmm. So whenever we are talking about feminism, it is not that thing, that stuff. It's not something to be repulsive about. Yeah. It is something that is serious. And important. Yes, and important. So please, oh, not be stuff. It is a movement. Thank you. And the part about Twitter feminists oh. and being witches. Oh, I roll my eyes all the time. <laughs> I always say this. Oh. Don't let like people's Feminism is defined by their realities and their experiences. Bam. There's no general, oh, this is how to be a feminist. Bam. So please, let people be feminist the way they know how to be. Bam. Yeah. Simple and straightforward. My take on it is that there needs to be that balance. Because if you look at the African nation has really suffered that. The older generation, we have this mindset as a parents have that female children belong to the kitchen. And so there's need for a form of recalibration in this aspect. But my problem is where it is now uh, taken to the extreme. Where we now have some ladies that say they will not marry some are lesbians and all that. Episode, please just go back because we addressed this. <laughs> Even the marriage we are, part. We addressed too. this in the last episode where uh, feminists are usually called lesbians. Please watch the last so episode. This is actually very funny because we're experiencing it in real time. And they still see the need to honor the men. Let's try and honor. <laughs> <laughs> I can scream. Let's honor. Why do they always do that word? Oh honor the men. There's mutual respect. What is honor? Honor the men. I hate that word honor. Feminist, oh but not too feminist. Cook, mm. and clean. How is that being a feminist? Why is it always like we all come down to this marriage point? It, it's so centered around this, like it's the foundation. It confuses me. I, I don't think, know why. I think the reason is because marriage, what I believe, in, most men, that's finally their chance to exert the power. Like, I feel like a lot of men dream of it, of being the man of the house. So feminism is like a threat to that. It's like, oh, this person is to be a feminist and I can't tell her what to do. I think generally as human beings though, we like power and like what it does to us. So a lot of men are extremely threatened by the idea that they won't be able to command one woman to do this. That's why. Yeah, it has advantages and disadvantages. Uh, the advantage is uh, it encourage females to do to them, for, for them to be better in their careers. My disadvantage is feminism has caused a lot of divorces. It's not the disrespect <laughs> and the battery and the sexual um sexual harassment that people express in marriage and the rape people in marriage that people experience that is and domestic it's violence. Feminism. Eh? It's, feminism. it's feminism and your cheating asses. It's not it's not those things. It's feminism. But it's feminism. <laughs> Wonderful. It depends on how we're looking at it. If it's from the legal aspect, women obviously need to be heard and seen because there's this saying that women are to be seen and not heard in the society. So I quite don't agree with that because God created us all in his image and he gave women wisdom. There are, there are abilities he put in a woman that you wouldn't see much potentials of it in a man. So that is why women need to be heard in society. But where is a problem is when the woman starts trying to be the man, like trying to dominate in maybe the society or in a relationship. God has already placed a man above the woman. So women can't dominate society. Like, so we, this says that women can't like basically like the words domination, sub submission. This should be banned from the dictionary. Ah, for ever. What you just said is that. So basically, a woman can be a leader. That's what I just said. Because you said ah. when a woman is trying to be a man, so only men can be leaders. Yeah, it's wrong. I beg, it's wrong. Well, it's good. It's good. It's not a bad thing, but. 
the way the world is perversing it now is making it look like it's one very serious offense. So a woman can't just come out and say she's a feminist. Because when she does, it's perceived that she's trying to, you know, drag the position in man as in quotes with him. But then in the actual sense, feminism is actually not wrong. It's not a bad thing to be feminist because as a woman you're supposed to be feminist. But then it's when you look at it from like some ladies answer king king something, king this one, a man I don't I don't see those ones as being necessary. What do you think so, of that thing? What that that king, king, that even that one eh, is part of patriarchy. That's yeah. what I think. Like you don't need to take up male types yes. for it to feel like like you are yes. at a particular yeah. level. Queen is okay. It means that you're like, you're <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Yes, yeah. like you don't have to take I agree. But then at the end of the day, it's still everybody's choice. If you call yourself king, how is it pinching another person? That's what I don't understand about <laughs> Nigerians and Chukeli and also another person. Somebody said they are king. Oh okay, God. why is it pinning you? Because so like, just leave it and ignore it. It's fine. But I still think like you don't need yes, to be king yeah. to be above anybody. Queen. My perspective on that is uh, women who are taking it upon themselves to liberate other women. You know, who are taking it upon themselves to change the narrative as it relates to structures that were established in society in terms of in terms of uh, um, gender roles as it were. You know, prior to this time, we understand that women have always been given to the background in terms of uh, building the community in the society. You know, the roles that they've always had has been that of home building. You know, not uh, uh nothing economic really you don't get paid for the things that they do you know they do really they never really had a voice when it came to uh the political scene the economic scene and all of that but all of that is changing now because some women are taking it upon themselves to point out that women are able to bring a lot to the table when it comes to all of these things Pastor, they always say that that is changing. I hate it so much because when you look at the statistics, like a lot of the things that they make a lot of noise about women being in roles now because it's like, oh, we're finally doing it. But when you dig deep and you see the extent of this inequality, you realize that they barely scratch the surface. Like nothing has been done. You say seven women are killing from a bank. Mm. So even just start from the grassroots in the home, a five year old girl telling her you're going to your husband's house already. Like yeah. it is bigger than like they are putting women as directors now. I know, okay, they'll say you start from somewhere, but. For me, oh, like, please, we're still far from it. I'm tired of that distance. Well, my take on feminism is uh, it's a great thing to happen to women in this space. However, it, it appears that there are certain elements who have hijacked the movement, so to speak. Who is hijacking it? Who is hijacking it? Who is hijacking it? From who? They don't mean it. We don't know the real meaning of feminism. What do you about dominating the male gender? Feminism should be about empowering the female gender. How? They know that they have a responsibility to society and they have something to contribute. Now, the narrative that's supposed to be black and shame your gender is that they are pushing a domination agenda in society and they have entirely wrong. You know, like, I don't have any sense contributes. Why can't I just be on the stage? Why can't I just be? Ah, no. I just be? But I should have the knowledge that okay, I have like this chance is it? This choice is available to this. me. Yes, I can do it. You don't want to because people always say like um feminism. They always take it, bring it from the angle of women empowerment. I don't want. To, sometimes I don't want to empower anybody. I just want to be. Yeah. That's just it. Like it's as simple as just existing. It doesn't have to be from a career, from a distance. Mm. It doesn't have to be anything. It doesn't have to be so difficult. Ah. If you wake up one morning and just be like, oh, I want to do this, you won't consider the fact. You shouldn't be able to be considering the fact that, that you're a because you, because you 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 a woman, you can't do this. Yeah, true, true, true. When you look at it, the way it should be looked at, it's a positive thing for the society, right? However, when you hijack the narrative and are changing the narrative, then it becomes a bad thing, and that is why it, uh, it appears that a lot of people see feminists generally as people who are not. They call themselves progressives, but who are not uh, really after the progress of society. That's why people see them as well. Inherently, as a concept, it is a good thing because the work is towards the advancement of the female gender, right? Who are the people? I think there's a committee nah, somewhere. Nah, nah, uh, that's I'm thing. telling you, nah, like, it's us. I think there's an idea. I think there's a committee somewhere that says, uh-huh. yes, let's turn it to this. And, and that thing is that why does the idea of women even taking over make them so afraid? Because it's, it has been patriarchy for like how many years now? And all of a sudden, like, it's, people are fighting for equality and they are calling it. If they say, if they say women are so good, like, 
um, in the home. They know how to manage you. So if you make us make us head of the society, <laughs> are we not going to manage it well? Because I don't understand. This not that deep. Which one is hijack? Dominate. Dominate. Okay, snatch. They don't understand. <laughs> Hmm. Well, my take on feminism is, is no take at all. Uh, because when you begin to look at the concept of feminism, especially after the erosion, I mean, the initial ideology behind the word feminism is quite important because shows I mean, is late, there is female marginalization, there is underrepresentation of women, especially in government. And I think that the ideology behind Transition. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's in transition. I feel like she's in transition. All these people that were saying they are humanists. You think one day you get there and you realize that all oh, this is It doesn't words. happen in one day. Because you can tell from my expression that she's like concerned because, and angry uh, and all of that. She so. understands the, the, the this thing. Like, yes, well, I can see it. Don't worry, you come around, <laughs> ma. <laughs> Feminism, I'm mean, the mind behind it. I think it's a good thing. But a lot of people are actually using it uh, as an excuse to be violent. Disrespectful to be, um, I'll put it to not care about things that are supposed to care about. When you say you're a feminist, you are supposed to, yes, you want to be heard, you want to be respected, you want people to see you as a lady that has power and can command things to happen. It doesn't mean you should not do it wrong when you are um, talking to people in the way you're not supposed to in the name of feminism, when you're insulting people or in the name of feminism. I mean, that's the wrong part of it. So, People are generally rude. It has nothing to do with the tag of feminism or not. People can be rude. If person is rude to you, address the person based on oh you have a shitty personality or oh you are uncouth or oh you are rude in general. It's not because oh because she's a feminist that's why she's rude or because she's a feminist that's why she's this she's that. Even most of these reactions are reactions to the things like that. You there are some people that just say things to trigger you. Yes, they call feminist name all the time. So before a feminist like will I just come on the road and start insulting someone? <laughs> Obviously, it's in reaction to something that. And some people make it a point to actually get reactions out of yes. people. You know that some things will trigger somebody, mm -hmm. and then you keep saying. Uh -uh. I have, I have you my feelings. We're currently at the Career Leaders Network program. And first I will say that the event has been awesome. I've learned a lot. They brought quality people. I think that's the thing, the most important thing that I just mentioned. The quality of people that have come to speak. It's been very um, amazing. And the content that they've shared with us is very insightful. We've also had the opportunity to meet other people, young people like me, you know, like minds that are doing great things in their careers as well. So I'd recommend that, you know, you join the Career Leaders Network if you are passionate about growing your career, if you have questions about what you can do to better your career, if you want to meet more people that are like you, same journey as you, or have got ahead of you in your journey, Career Leaders Network is definitely where you want to be. Thank you. Kind of weird how as soon as we see that a lady is confident she won't allow you rubbish her or she's just very she has come into her own she knows herself mm -hmm. we just feel like oh she's rude or oh she doesn't have a good personality or she's just raising her voice or something that is obviously wrong and she's trying to like um, point attention to it we just feel like oh this will, this feminist te tend to have bad personality and all of that you can't say that people's personality <laughs> is bad. I don't, I don't know. I've lost my chain of thoughts. One but... thing to say is just that, like, 
most of the change that's been evoked by feminists over yes. the years yeah. it came from a lot of violence, a lot yes. of anger. Mm. Things as simple as going to school, getting right to vote. So yeah. it's not the function of oh, even how to driving a car. Like, was it not just last year, like in was is it Saudi Arabia? Yes, which Saudi country Arabia. that they just allow if ah man to drive a car? So a lot of it came as a result of violence, violence and fights. Fights. Fight. <laughs> We do so, we don't experience violence yeah. as in especially in Nigeria. At all. We Everything we just do is talk and activation. We we'll do this. We we'll just talk. Honestly speaking, if you read, uh, please, I, I really, 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 really would implore to like actually read because I I don't think we read enough. Like I, I'm, <laughs> honestly, it's actually bothering. Like these responses, they bother me a lot. Like if you want to learn, you need to read. You can't just um create an assumption or just create like a general view. Or a particular topic or a particular movement just based off of or what you see on Twitter. And by the way, the ladies on Twitter they do amazing. They, are doing good work. they do amazing because there's a lot of shit that you'll be able they've been able to unlearn. Let's not even lie to each other. Even a lot of learning up like, on Twitter. On Twitter like, you learn things, like every day. I'm seeing something new and I'm like, oh, so I'm this is actually you. an angle. If you actually want to learn and you're on Twitter, you will actually learn. There are a lot of problematic behaviors that you just check yourself that ah uh, uh, yes, I'm doing is wrong. Let me drop it. Yeah. But it's because you have become so hostile and you've just be, you've become so and you're threatened. Yeah, yeah. By it's just sad. Things, a lot of people they get very it's angry. Just sad. Just we would always seen as the black. There was a point in time that mm -hmm. he was doing consecutive sexual harassment, rape, rape jokes, rape jokes, but because they dragged him. Mm -hmm. So if we, if feminists didn't shout or clamor that this thing you're doing doesn't make sense, sense. Yeah. do you think that it would change now? Right now, it doesn't do those those jokes anymore. So sometimes uh, you, you have to raise your voice sometimes to be heard. You have to shout, you have to come. Even don't my, like, kill me, please don't kill me. Almost, who will even save you? Let's say somebody like Robert enter your house now. <laughs> it's true. Robert enter your house now. And they are like, oh, somebody enters your house. Okay, not the robber. He doesn't have any equipment or any any that's okay. equipment. He doesn't have any uh, thing to arm you. He's just coming down. Oh, when full mini phone, and you know your your, your neighbors very hefty men. They can fight for you. And I say, please, sir, don't kill me. Please. Oh, we hear you. But if you raise your voice to the hmm, and you know that there are people outside there that will, yeah, that would that actually come and help you. Are you not going to raise that said voice? So because you are not angry because people have decided to raise their voices. My dear, you need to check yourself. That's Basically, just a lot of change is affected by having these conversations over and over, over and over. And over. That's with the, the anger sometimes. That's because the same. Over I mean, and over and yeah. over again. That's the only way we can yeah, grow. And knows. please read. I beg. <laughs> Honestly, I say it bothers me. Please read. We'll, we'll, don't worry. We'll put reading materials in the description <laughs> box for you to read. You start there. Because materials. it's true. It's important. So <laughs> in our next episode, we are going to be talking about workplace oh, sexism. So we are going to send out um, Google Forms. They are yeah. going to be totally anonymous for um, people to share their experiences in the workplace, how this form, different forms of sexual harassment, sexism that they've experienced in the workplace. And we do hope you feel it, and we expect exciting feedback. Exciting is bad thing. <laughs> okay, okay, true, true, true. Okay, but thank you so much for staying, sticking with us this long. Uh, we hope to see you again next week. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe like, like, and, and share, share with your friends. Thank you so much. Bye.